Verify the trigonometric identity solution. So typically when we have uh, trig identities and we're trying to verify them, we start by picking the more complicated side. So in this case, uh, that's definitely the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and start by carefully rewriting that. So we have cosine x over sine x plus sine x over cosine x. And I think the best way to proceed maybe is to actually add these expressions. So the LCD here is going to be sine times cosine. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. So this is sine x cosine x. This is the fastest way to perform the multiplication. So you know the LCD is just the product of the denominators. Then it's going to be cosine x, that's what's here, times, and then you look here and you ask yourself, what's missing down here uh, in order to get the LCD? You're missing the cosine, so times cosine. So it's cosine times what's missing, plus, and then sine, and then you look down here and you ask yourself the same question. What's missing here to get the LCD? You already have cosine, so you just need the sine function, so sine x. All right, this is going to be equal to, so cosine times cosine is cosine squared x, plus, and then sine times sine is sine squared x. It's all being divided by uh, sine x cosine x. And this is everyone's favorite identity. It's like the one identity that everyone knows. <laughs> cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to 1 all over sine x cosine x. Now let's take a moment and see where we're trying to go. We're trying to get to secant x cosecant x. So the natural thing to do is to write this as a product. This is 1 over sine times 1 over cosine. And I did that because we want to end up with secant times cosecant. So 1 over sine is the same thing as cosecant. 1 over cosine is secant. The way I memorize these is it's the other letter. Sine has an S, cosecant has a C. Cosine has a C, secant has an S. So cosecant is 1 over the one with the other letter. Secant is 1 over the one with the other letter. And we're pretty much there. The original question said secant cosecant. So let's go ahead and write it that way. So this is really equal to secant x times cosecant x. And that's it. I hope this video has been helpful.